This is the Nissan Patrol Gazelle X, the most extreme and most expensive patrol safari currently on sale. Wow, this gazelle looks a little bit different than the ones we see in the desert. It looks like a gazelle on steroids. <laughs> well, today we're going to be sharing with you things we like about it, things we don't like about it, what it feels to drive, and whether it's worth 293,000 dirhams. Yalla! Let's start. Let's start with three things we like about the design of the Nissan Patrol Gazelle X. The first thing we like about it is the amount of presence it has. This thing turns heads wherever it goes. We also like the small details that Nissan paid attention to, like the Gazelle logos on the rear and front bumper, on the alloy wheels and on the exhaust pipe. Finally, we really like these 17-inch red and black KMC off-road wheels because of how beautifully they match these decals. Moving on to three things we didn't like about the Gazelle X design. And I'll start with this fake hood scoop. Yes, it's fake. And this metal mesh you can see here, it's just a sticker that you can peel off. Nissan, please, if you want to do a hood scoop, either do one that works or don't do it at all. The second thing we dislike about the design is this industrial looking roof rack that you can find in warehouses and IKEA. Lastly, we dislike these random holes in the rear bumper that have no purpose whatsoever. Except, of course, for storing your Coke can right here in the back. Very useful. If you can think of any other use for these, please let us know in the comments below. On the inside, we like how Nissan has tried to differentiate the Patrol Gazelle X from the standard Patrol Safari with bespoke tan leather and custom Gazelle logos on the seats. Secondly, how well built the entire cabin feels. I guarantee you, this cabin will stay intact after 10 years of bashing the Gazelle X on the toughest roads. Finally, we really like how quickly and effectively the cool box cools our water bottles down. Now for the dislikes on the interior. It's true, we like the design used on the leather on the interior, making the Gazelle X stand out from a regular safari, but the quality and the finish on the leather could be much, much better. The lack of storage spaces throughout the interior for things like your mobile phone, wallet and keys. But more importantly, what's up with the size of those cup holders? You'd struggle to fit anything bigger than your cup of gahua in there. Many of you might disagree with us on this last point, but we dislike that metal drawer system we have in the back for two main reasons. A, they add a lot of weight to the car, and B, you lose those two back seats, meaning the Gazelle X is strictly a five-seater. So Anas, let's talk about all the features and tech that we like in the Gazelle X. Since there isn't much to like about the features, let's talk about the stuff we don't like. For instance, for almost 300,000 dirhams, you don't get any navigation, you don't get Bluetooth connectivity, you don't even get something like automatic headlights. I'd like to add two more things to that list. You don't get any parking sensors or a rear camera in a car that actually needs them because of its size and because every time you look in the rear view mirror all you see is the metal cage and half a spare tire. Finally, sunroofs are a plus in any car because of the views they offer you. Well, in the Gazelle X the only view you get is of the stuff you have put on the top roof rack. At least you can make sure they're still there and haven't fallen off while you're driving. To drive, and especially off-road, the Nissan Patrol Gazelle X is amazing. And that's because of the adjustable King's off-road racing shocks that it comes equipped with, meaning you can adjust how stiff they are depending on the terrain you're driving over. Also, with the Gazelle X riding 4 inches higher than a standard safari, and with the bash plates in the front and the rear, 
most obstacles start to look tiny in comparison. And to cross those obstacles, Nissan has gifted the Gazelle X its tried and trusted 4.8 liter V6 engine that produces a very eager 280 horsepower and 451 Newton meters of torque. But the highlight is the crackling sound that exhaust system makes while delivering that power. <laughs> Now to the things we don't like about the drive in the Gazelle X. You see, manual transmissions are dying, but seeing one fitted on something as special as the Gazelle X makes us very happy. <laughs> it's like when you're tuning your radio in 2019 and hearing them play one of your favorite Pink Floyd songs from 1979. <laughs> that said, who has the time these days to listen to a 12-minute song? And who has the patience to use a manual transmission every day? Especially one with long throws like these and one that is really hard to put into gear every time you shift. Oh, it's an effort that you don't have to live with in 2019, believe me. Especially when you're in a traffic jam. Something you're unlikely to notice off-road, but will definitely notice once you're on-road, is the lack of horsepower in higher gears. Anas, put it into fifth and floor it. Here we go, and I'm flooring it. It's nothing. Dead. <laughs> dead, again. <laughs> nothing. You have to shift into four and push it. <laughs> Lastly, although those huge BF Goodrich tires look cool and they're very useful off-road, the combination of them and this big roof rack generate a mix of wind and road noise that is so loud you can't even hear people talking in the back seats. So we've highlighted the good and the not so good things about the Gazelle X. But now let's talk about the question you've been waiting for us to answer. Is it worth 293,000 dirhams. That's for the manual. You're gonna have to pay an extra 5,000 dirhams to get it with an automatic gearbox. And what's the benefit of spending all that money when you can buy a stock patrol safari for just 152,000 dirhams and tune it exactly how you want? Well, there's a big benefit and it's called warranty. You see, all of these modifications have been done through the dealer, and that means the car remains under warranty, which you will lose if you make one of these changes by yourself. Meaning, if you want a car that's heavily modified to go off-road, and you don't want to risk losing your warranty, then the Nissan Patrol Gazelle X is the car for you. Thanks for watching.